What's up everybody, this is Mr. Ray Honda. Welcome back to Let's Play Nekopara. I don't know what part this is. Chapter 3 apparently. I don't know how long this game is either. My voice cracked! Uh, Alright, let's just, let's just get back into it. Load, not delete. We're gonna load. Huh. What happened? You both are so excited. I had just come back from shopping to find the two of them in really high spirits. I couldn't imagine what had changed so drastically in the little time that I've been out. Well, maybe they were really getting into the cat toy. Yeah, I get that it's amazing, but what exactly is it? Did they make a big cat poop? I think they made a big cat poop for me to clean. I don't want to clean that shit. Faster to have a look? That's just an empty room. Chocolate and vanilla pulled me towards the empty room. I live in a nice place, man. Whoa. What the? The moment the door was opened, there was a pink and white spread before my eyes. The colors overflowed from the floor, bed, dresser, and cushions with their antique rose design. There also seemed to be a sweet, high-class scent wafting throughout it. Clearly, a room that wasn't here before was spread out before my eyes. I immediately started to wonder if I'd somehow walked into another dimension. Ah. Now that you mention it, it has the same feel as your room back home, huh? I found myself greatly confused as I leaned against the wall. I remembered it was one of Shigure's hobbies to decorate each of the cat girl's rooms to something like this. Because of our traditional parents, Shigure herself had a relatively normal Japanese style room, so it seemed like she poured all of her effort into this room instead of her own. Shigure did also say that she dressed the cat girls according to her own tastes, too. All of them except for Maple. While Shigure might have been an education freak, I'd forgotten how much she really did spoil them. Speaking of which, when did that girl have time to set all this up? She must have brought this while I was out. That really speaks volumes about her abilities. Shit. Well, this is your room. So use it as you wish. Uh, well... You do have that expensive looking bed and all. What's happening? What the fuck? ご主人様のお部屋もお揃いで素敵です。どうです、どうです。ご主人様も嬉しいですか。シグレの兄思いな心には本当頭が下がるね。シグレ。<laughs> Oh my god, my room is all fucking princessed out. No. No. There was no way I could just throw out all the new things in the room. And so, I became burdened with a glorious fantasy princess room. But surprisingly, I slept extremely well, so I didn't complain. Fuck. <laughs> I wanted my modern style room, damn it. ご来店をお待ちしております。いらっしゃいませ。メニューはこちらになりまして、おすすめはこちらの看板です。お待たせしました。季節のミルフィーユとチョコモンブランになります。あ、店内でのご飲食 
でしたらばこちらへどうぞメニューはこちらになります I like how they're sliding back and forth <laughs> That's pretty funny. Ooh, dry ice. Woo! And then she's gonna slide back this. Oh, maybe not. Never mind. Never mind. All right. All right. Maybe I'll take this moment to bake some more sponge cake for the shortcakes. I looked through the window onto the bakery floor and saw that the customer traffic had calmed down a bit. Glancing at the clock, I saw it was almost 3 p.m. It seemed that selling out and closing early on opening day actually got us noticed. Thanks to some tweets and blog posts. What? Does tweet Twitter exist in this universe? Thanks to some tweets and blog posts, word of mouth had spread, and we were really, really busy the next day. There was only one really I know. You could argue that it was just a big coincidence, but this was definitely all because of Shigure. Got it. I'll start making more now then. Uh, Alright, I'll check it later. <laughs> They're doing the slidey thing again, aren't they? They're gonna slide in and out and... Oh, maybe not. I do think chocolate and vanilla are actually able to help out this much. I watched as the two of them quickly and energetically engaged the customers. Chocolo was enthusiastic as always, while Vanilla showed her attention to detail. They greatly contributed to the rising fame of the bakery as La Soleil's po poster girls. I really didn't expect much when I sought their assistance, but they've been a big help. Well, it's about time for a break, huh? This one is almost done anyways. I lightly stretched my neck side to side as I took the ingredients for the next batch and put them in the refrigerator. Drop in my face. Good work, you two. Ooh, cheesecake. Aw, oh, man, this game is making me hungry. Oh. This is because you two have been working so hard. As requested, here's your reward. The eyes of the two cat girls were sparkling as they looked at the rare cheesecake with delight. It was worth it to see them this happy. I sat down into the chair and poured hot water into the teapot. They're talking about having their own phones and stuff. Uh, I wonder if they have their own Twitter. <laughs> eat like actual their own Twitter accounts. That'd be pretty freaking funny. Just hurry up and eat it. Break time is almost break time is almost over. I calmly urged them as I poured three cups of tea. As always, these two cat girls had limitless energy. Why did they make eating cake so sexual? Oh, oh boy. I'm glad you two like it. I made some sauce for it too. It'd help if you two could give me some feedback on them. Oh, 
Well, I am a beginner, but I can at least do this. They've probably been waiting for an opportunity to praise me, so I suppose it's a good thing. After hearing their requests, I actually secretly did some research on making rare cheesecake, but I'll leave it as a secret. There, there. You're right. You two really were a big help. I patted both the genuinely happy Chocola and the proud Vanilla on the head. My poster cat girls were such adorable little things. I watched them go at it as I poured another cup of tea. I can understand why cat girls make great mascots, though. It was heartwarming and sweet to see them act like such little happy sisters. Their head movements are weird. Since you two are helping me this much, you're going to have to really study hard, right? No. You think you're going to retire a few days after your opening? Study for your qualifications. You two remember what Shigure said, right? Upon hearing my words, their blank expressions changed as their eyes began to shine. You two are working really hard as poster cat girls, after all. Chocolate and Vanilla turned to each other with looks of amazement. Suddenly, they both stood up and bent forward across the table. Of course. That's what I said, right? If you two weren't around, I don't think I'd be able to keep up... I don't think I'd be able to keep the bakery going. Just like before, I tapped their heads in thanks again. <sighs> of course. Yeah, I'm proud of you two, but as your owner, I want to have proof that I raised you too well, too. That's why you two should work for your own sake as well. I'll do... I'll also do my best alongside you two. I ruffled their hair. They closed their eyes as... They closed their eyes and smiled even more brightly than before. Uh, sure. Whether it's an amusement park or the aquarium, I'll take you to there. Within reason, okay? Are you two listening? The two, the two cat girls were lost in their own fantasy worlds while they, <laughs> while their eyes gleamed. 
I never thought they'd start dreaming of going overseas or even space. My cat girl's dreams obviously weren't something to make light of, were they? They were incredible. Hey! Breaks over, you two! <laughs> go get to, Go get to it! Oh. It was a bit of a struggle to bring Chocolate and Vanilla back to reality after they had traveled so far mentally. Oh, jeez. Alright, that's all the time I have for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe to join the venture today. Share the video to help the growth of the channel, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye! <laughs> Get out there.